what's going on guys, it is last year and welcome to the seventh episode of our Road to Glory. Currently we're rocking that South American squad and we're trying to get our way to the World Cup final. First off, if you guys are looking to buy any coins, then go check out the FIFAshop.co.uk and make sure you use my code LA5TY to get yourself a nice little 5% discount. Links down below in the description as always and if this video can hit 2,000 likes, that would be epic. I'd really, really appreciate it if you smashed a like on the video. So this is the squad that we're currently rocking. Time for us to go on in to the quarterfinals. As you can see, we made it through the round of 16, beating that guy 4-2 in the previous episode, and we come up against this. Uh, now, I really struggle, I really worry when I come up against people with big, tall, strong strikers on this World Cup game, because I find people like Gomez and Negredo far better than the really small, pacey guys that normal Ultimate Team would work with. I think that the... Uh, the strong, tall guys, they just work better. You know, they finish the ball better and stuff like that. They hold off the defenders really well. And I just think they are better on this game. Uh, so the first half of this game didn't actually provide any goals. Um... We were both taking chances. It was really difficult to break each other down. We were fairly uh, even opponents. I did have my fair share of the possession. Uh, the game went a little bit laggy just before halftime. And as you can see here, um, we take a head up against, up against goal from a corner. And it kind of looks like the game freezes for a little bit, which is not great. Uh, but the lag sorted itself out. And we tried we you know, we tried again to score. Uh, and even Moreno couldn't get through on goal, even though he was fairly clear on through right there. Uh, and at the first half, uh, with the halftime break, we are... At nil nil, I've had my fair fair share of possession, and it looks like I should be the one that's going to win, uh, if anything. But going on into the second half, again we're trying to get some shots on goal against this guy, uh, but I just can't hit the ball on target, and that's not exactly what I'm going to need. Uh, so we do get a corner in the 74th minute, and after a load of deflections and stuff, little baby Jeff gets through, and after that was a lot of deflections. We do go one nil up uh, to a very very jammy goal, uh, and it looks as though deservedly we are going to be making our way on into the semi-finals of the cup and now Hanane is going on a lovely little run here a few skill moves here and there uh, but unfortunately he doesn't make his way through and we do win the game 1-0 that was only one goal that was going to come down uh, that it was going to come down to in this match because we we were two fairly evenly matched teams uh, and we qualified for the semi-finals which is great so we're going to open our player pack and then also three more packs you know one for the goal and two for being at that stage in the cup and the first pack we get a whole host of players one of which is the 84 rated Oscar. Now, I had a bit of a bit of a predicament. Do I stick him in the squad? Uh, because I absolutely love Hernanes, you know, and he would have to replace him at Cam. Uh, or do I leave him on the bench or something like that and trust in, in the players that have got me so far to the semi-finals of the cup? We pick up an Olich, a Jones, uh, and some other players in this pack right there in the final pack. But what I decide to do is actually stick Oscar in. I know Hernanes is great, but hopefully the two extra ratings that Oscar has got uh, should hopefully provide for us. And uh, we'll see in the first game, or in this next game, the final game of this episode, the semi-finals of the cup. Uh, we go in against this guy. He's got a German badge, an 83 rated squad, and his team is very, very good. He's got the European and South American little hybrid going. He's got Aguero. He's got Oscar. He has got Di Maria, and it looks to be a really, really solid team. When I saw Aguero, I was absolutely nervous. And to start things off, he was peppering my goal a little bit, uh, but we were managing to stay clear of that. Uh, we played the ball through here to Joe, uh, and he gets a couple of attempts at headers on it, but it just goes wide of that post. Uh, and then at this point, we get the ball through with baby Jeff. He does a nice little Berber spin, plays a crossover. His defender heads it to me, and Oscar on his debut manages to stick that ball in the back of the net. Does that mean he was a better player than Hernanes? Who knows? But he started things off really well. He then gets through again right here and is pivotal in the second goal that we do manage to luckily score right here. Fernandinho finally sticks it in the back of the net, but it was Oscar that played that original shot off against the goalkeeper. Uh, then we, you know, we're just trying to keep this lead going uh, because this guy was actually really good and I was so shocked in myself that I was 2-0 up, uh, even going into this halftime break. We do get a corner here and Joe makes it 3-0 at the halftime break. And I was just like, what is going on? This guy was really solid. 
Uh, he plays a lovely ball through to his Oscar right there, but he just sticks it wide of the post. And we do manage to go into the halftime break with a 3-0 lead. And we, we had less possession, uh, but we'd had far more shots. And we'd been far more clinical in this game, which is great. He does get through here in the 52nd minute, but our keeper is out. Uh, and again, he, he look at this, right? So he gets the ball there, somehow gets it through my keeper, and then somehow gets in front of my defender to make it 3-1. And I'm just like, oh God, I can feel some sort of comeback coming on. Uh, we do get through there with Moreno, but unfortunately he sticks it wide. Or the goalkeeper saves it even. And again, we knock the ball in here to Joe, but he can't do anything. Then Moreno smacks the inside of the post with a lovely half volley. Um, but we win the match. Nice one, 3-1. That means for the first time in this road to glory, we have made it to the final the sacred the holy world cup final in this game which is awesome uh, and what i've decided to do is um uh, we're going to open, obviously, however many packs it is that we deserve for this game. But for getting to the final, we're going to open five packs after the next game, after the final game, you know. If we, if we win the match, we'll open ten packs uh, as a massive treat for winning it. Uh, but if we just, you know, just for getting there, we're going to open five packs um, after that game. You know, just as a well done for finally getting to that World Cup final. Uh, and then we don't really get anyone in our packs. We did get a Jackson Martinez uh, in the first one of the packs which is quite good again as you're looking through here i can see mavuba people like that but no no one really that special uh, we pick up a fellaini a jefferson and a payette as well um but they're not really going to work for us you know i'm happy with julio cesar in goal uh, so there's no way that jefferson is going to make it into the squad but what i decide to do is put jackson martinez in instead of Moreno. Moreno's going to go and sit on the bench uh, just in case I do need him in the final. But that's going to wrap up this episode. If you guys want to see that final, then uh, all I can say is just if you've enjoyed, smash a like on the video. That uh, that means that I'm going to get, be uploading that final game uh, very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a comment as well down below. I thank you for watching. Peace.